your KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast. We finally did have some nicer temperatures today. We were in the 40s and 50s across most of the area. It's hard to believe another snowstorm will be hitting tonight, but unfortunately it will start within the next couple of hours. You can see our highs today there. Like I said, 50 degrees in Columbia today, our low 36. Jefferson City was 52, around 38 for their low. The lake area, they were a little bit cooler. They're 46, same thing with Sedalia. Rolla was 50 and Fort Leonard Wood was 48. We are still in the 40s across the area, except for our western counties. That's where that snow is starting to fall just west of our viewing area. You can see our temperatures are starting to drop as that cooler air mass moves in. We're at 35 degrees in Brunswick right now, 38 out in Boonville, still warmer in Fulton. They're 44, 41 in Vandalia and 40 at Max Creek. You can see those dew points are starting to get closer to the actual temperatures and that just means we do have enough moisture in the air for that snow to be sustained for most of the day tomorrow. Our wind chills are feeling a lot cooler out to our west as winds are coming from the northeast right now. It feels like th 32 degrees in Columbia, 41 in Jefferson City, so not as bad there. 34 at the lake and a chilly 19 degrees in St. Joseph right now. Our snowfall potential through tomorrow night and into Monday. This is our in-house model. It's showing up to eight inches for the Columbia and Mexico area. Some of these totals might be a little bit higher. I think we could see up to 10 inches along I-70, but for the most part, the rest of these I pretty much agree with towards Plaskai and Phelps County, probably two to four inches at the lake. I think about five to six inches, maybe, maybe a little bit higher if we get some of that thunder snow. There's my map right now. You can see eight to 10 inches for Columbia. Jefferson City is right on that line. I would include them in the round eight to nine inch range. The lake area, they're in the five to eight inch range, but I think they'll be in the middle of that. The Rolla, St. Elizabeth area, probably two to four inches and anywhere north of our viewing area, probably around five to eight inches. Here's the storm that's causing all of this. The low pressure system is off to our south and will track northeastward into southern Missouri throughout the overnight hours. You can see that rainfall and mix through the, the evening hours and most of it will take over as snow as we go into the morning hours tomorrow by sunrise. We should be seeing all heavy snow across mid Missouri. Our temperatures overnight are going to be right around that freezing mark and are not going to warm up much at all. Our temperatures are going to be maybe one or two degrees cooler or warmer tomorrow than they are right now, right in that middle to low 30s degree range. And that snow should stick around for most of the day tomorrow and still maybe have a few flurries in there from Monday. But by Tuesday, we finally will start to clear out and have some warmer temperatures by the end of the week. But looks like tomorrow is going to be a pretty treacherous day, going to be a bad day for driving, so if you have plans, please try to rearrange those. It's going to be a nasty day. Could have some power outages with the storm as well. 34 degrees for our high tomorrow in Columbia. Snow throughout the day. A couple flurries on Monday through Monday early afternoon, but that should taper off by Tuesday. You can see we're still going to have cool temperatures in there for Monday, but the middle part of the week, you can see we're going to bump up back into the 50s, near 60 degrees for Saturday, although we will have another chance for rain towards next weekend. Snow all day in Jefferson City tomorrow. 34 degrees, 38 for Monday, so a pretty chilly day with some flurries left over. But again, we will warm up by the end of the week and have a rain chance in there. And then for the lake, snow tomorrow as well. Not quite as much as Columbia and Jefferson City, but like I said, close to that six inch range and still going to have chilly temperatures for the first part of the week. But luckily, we could see a glimpse of spring finally by the end of the week. You mentioned being safe while you're out driving. What do you think is going to be the biggest problem for people when they hit the roads? Probably just slushy and slick road conditions. I don't think winds are really going to be a problem just because the snow is going to be heavier, wet snow. All right. Thanks, Jessica. Mm -hmm.